Ladies and gentlemen, fight number 10 on our fight card. This is our second title fight of the evening. Jay Gray is looking to make history here at the NFC, looking to be the first man to win championships in two weight classes. He is the current 185 pound champion here for the NFC and the amateur level. And he is moving up 20 pounds to fight Matt Holland for the vacant 205 pound championship. Here we go, round number one underway. We got three three-minute rounds here. Matthew Holland undefeated with a three and zero record. Jay Gray wow. with an impressive four and one record coming into this fight. Whoa, nice spinning back Big fist. Big spinning by back fist just misses from. I'm not sure if it landed or missed from Matt Cantrell. It looked Mike like it Cantrell. caught his shoulder to me. I'm sorry, Matthew Holland. But Jay's got Matthew pushed up against the cage right now. Working on them knees. Nice knee from Jay Gray. And now right. Jay's got his back here, but Matt looking to bulldog throw him, and he's got him down here. Right, it looks like he might be caught in the triangle choke, though. Jay's threw it up. He's got his hand on his own leg, looking to pull it down. Matt's posturing up, though. It looks like he might have it. No. Right, he let it go. And now Matthew Holland's going to end up here in, on top in side control, which is big for Holland. This is Matthew Holland's natural weight class, I believe. This is his first time fighting at 205 pounds. Oh, he's looking to trap the left arm of Jay Gray right now, but he switched and got caught right back up in guard. Yeah, yeah. interesting tidbit. Matthew Holland's three, three amateur fights were all at heavyweight. This is his 205 debut going against a guy moving up in weight. I mean, so you would think on the ground, that Matthew Holland's going to be the stronger person. Uh, it's looking to be true so far. I mean, his last fight, Matthew Holland against Corey Clark, who's now a professional, he dominated him in the clinch up against the fence. Really did a good job controlling him. And he got swept by Jay Gray. Jay ends up in full mount. Punches to the face are allowed. And I'd like to see him. If Jay postures up, he can start to rain down right now. I think he's worried about getting oh, bucked, though. And he's got him. He's actually got a position for a triangle here. But wow. Matthew gets out of it. Slips right out the back door. And Jay now, Gray still on top, though. Now Matthew's sitting out. Jay's stepping over. And that now was, Matthew Holland looking nice for a transition. single leg. But Jay Gray is saying, no, uh Jay's got to watch him punches to the back of the head, though. Oh, and hard punches here from Jay Gray right in front of us. Jay Gray's last two fights, actually, are by TKO stoppage. Matthew looks like he's about to end up on top if he just switches over and keeps pushing. Ah, but Dre's back on his feet. Ten seconds left here in round number one. Can Matthew Allen get this takedown here? No, he can't. Jay Gray spins him, puts the pressure on with the final seconds of the first round. Pretty good back and forth first round. Uh -huh. 
All right, here we go. Round number two underway here in our second championship fight of the night, fight of the evening. Stiff jab from Jay Gray lands and another one. Yeah, stop that big overhand from Matthew. Collins now throwing some spinning kicks. He went for that big overhand again. Just missed, but now he's got Jay pushed up against the cage. And he's Looks like he's going for a single. But Jay nice, get nice wizard by Jay. Yeah. Pushing back. Jay did a good job there getting that underhook. And keeping it. And now Matthew's switching out. This is a technical fight. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Just shows you the level of competition we uh, promote here at the NFC. I think these guys find a little bit of respect for each other now. Nice leg kick. It, to me, it looks like Matthew's wanting to spin for some reason. Yeah, Matthew looks like he's looking for a big knockout shot. Yeah. I mean, by keeping his leg like that, Went for the takedown, got stuffed. Now Jay's on top. Jay's got his one arm trapped. Matthew's trying to scramble to get out of it. Now Jay's really strong. He, he's doing a good job here, holding Matthew down here and half guard on top. Again, Jay Gray looking to make history tonight, winning two titles in two different weight classes. You don't, you don't see that very often. There's only there's only three people in the UFC that have done that. Of course, that's BJ Penn, Randy Couture. And, and I'm thinking. Come on, Mr. MMA Encyclopedia. I, I will say it by the end of the fight. Right now, I'm having a brain fart. But Jay Gray landing down some heavy punches here. I mean, he's got Matthew pressed up against the cage. He's being able to throw a few lefts, but now he moves to the back. And what he needs to do is here, he needs to get over under and get at least one hook in, which he does. He's got his left hook in now. He's gonna look to roll Matt over to his left and get that right hook in. And now Jay is throwing down some heavy punches here, but we got uh, short time here left, seconds in, the second left round. in the round. And he's gonna end this Matthew's round. He's gonna survive. I'm gonna have to give it two to zip for Jay Gray. And Chuck's corner is saying he's got nothing for you. And that's showing you confidence coming out of the corner of Jay Gray. And here we go. Round number three is underway for the 205 pound vacant NFC championship. Well, Matthew's coming out explosive here. I think he knows he's got to finish this fight to win. Now this is where Matthew Holland has found success in his previous fights. Is in the clinch. He's really strong in the clinch. Nice. But Jay Gray, sweet. Ronda Rousey, and Matt. Oh. oh, but he ends up on his back. It's okay though. Yeah, Jay's definitely up two to zero. But with that being said, I've seen crazier decisions before. So he's definitely going to look to get off his back here. I mean, you can never count out a knockout or a submission either. Exactly. That's what's so great about the sport of mixed martial arts. Now Jay looking to maybe get an arm triangle off his back, lets it go. Matthew Holland throwing down some short body punches. And now Jay is looking to maybe lock up a Kimura, lets it go. Matthew's doing a good job of listening to his corner. He's looking at him out of the corner of his eye. I went for the pass. He's going to end up in half guard almost. And Jay's doing a good job here, not letting Matt pass to a dominant position. Oh, but his arm's stuck underneath him. Check it out. His left arm is being held there by Matt. 
All right, let it go. Yeah, he was kind of forced to there. He wasn't going to be able to do anything unless he let that go. Now Jay getting back to guard. Good job by Jay Gray, but Matthew Allen's controlling the position here yeah, for sure. Jay's working his way back to the cage. If he gets all the way over here, he might be able to wall walk up it. And he's looking to Kimura sweep here, but, but Matthew Allen's just too much for him on top. He's looking to push Matt's, uh, yeah, he's looking to set up a triangle here. And he's, oh, but Matt pulled his arm right out of there. And now he's right in the side control right here in front of us. This is big for Matt Holland, and he's looking to maybe set up a Kimura, and he's got it. Can Matthew Holland pull out the behind? Can he come from behind and pull out the victory here? I mean, he's got it locked in, but he doesn't have the leverage yet. Matt Holland, what Jay Gray needs to do here is do a Matt Hughes style armbar here and step around, but he's got the cage in the way, so he, he can't, he's not able to do that. But he is gonna pass, no, unsuccessful. And he does, and he does. Jay he Gray is in mount. full mount Ten here. Seconds left right in, in front of us. Final round. And he is gonna rain down some punches. And this is going to be a unanimous yeah, decision victory, victory for Jay Gray. One. He is going to be your new 205-pound champion. All right, we had a 205 Georgia Fighters champion belt fight here tonight. Fight number 10 on your fight card, NFC 67. This was advanced amateur MMA scheduled for three three-minute rounds going the distance. Let's hear it for all three. Or With a unanimous decision, your winner and the first fighter in Georgia history to hold two belts, Jay Gray, Lee Gunner of Hamilton, Georgia, fighting for the Jim Gray Martial Arts. Now with a record of 5-1 and, and your title belt holder, Dave Oakless, putting the belt on him now. Your fight promoter, along with Steve Mutter and Amy Lynn, bringing more fights than anyone in the Southeast. Contemporary Martial Arts, all the folks here from Melbourne, Georgia, and your winner.